Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Cody. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. Up next is a video that I kind of felt like was going to get submitted this week. Let's just lay the groundwork for this one, folks. <clears throat> it was only, what, two weeks ago that I watched a video of Nick Rikita, the internet lawyer on YouTube and, and, and Rumble and other places, I think, who basically is having a, I guess he's having a personal life meltdown, all right? And he's been streaming himself completely drunk and, and saying really awful things. And I reacted to a video about this like two, three weeks ago on this very show. Well, as a follow-up, he's been arrested, all right, for drugs and firearm possession while having uh, drugs or being under the influence, something like that. And someone submitted this video for me to watch. They said to start at the five-minute mark, so I will. Um, I don't know exactly what this is going to be. Let's, let's go to the, supposedly to the five-minute mark. Apparently, this guy is another internet lawyer friend or used to be like associated with Nick but they don't they have like they basically like stopped doing anything together or something as I guess this guy has had his big downfall or something so I guess they said five minutes okay here we go we'll start here last night in jail this can be changed and I think it will be but until he changes that stance I think he's not he's not come around to the reality that he's he's currently in. All right, let's go to it. Let's go to it and I'll, uh, you'll see what I mean. Good morning everyone. Uh we're going to go on the record before we do uh, a couple rules this morning giving the amount of observers uh first uh you uh are to turn off your device so you are muted and turn off your video camera. Uh, second of all, uh, there have been requests to record this proceeding. Those requests are denied. Um, the rules, oh, uh, God. Uh, general rules of practice That's prohibit terrible. any recording other than the official record. They really haven't gotten any of this stuff figured out, have they? It's 2024. I mean, my bankruptcy proceeding was in the year 2020. And they allowed anyone to call into the call and lie about who they were. And it was really messed up. Like, there's no security or anything. Here you got people who are like observers are coming in. Ding, 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 ding. Dude, this is supposed to be a court proceeding, right? Or an arraignment or something. What the fuck is this? Can you shut that fucking notice off? Like, what is going on? Is there anyone in charge? It's like, supposed to be like super important legal shit. Why is no one like controlling the situation? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> it's going to sell you at a grocery store. Someone coming through the front door a hundred times, right? Uh, of the judicial branch, which is recorded by a certified court reporter. I imagine that transcript... Also, uh, I, I do wonder, why is this over the internet? Like, everything today is, is gone back to normal since COVID, right? So why is this being done over the internet like this? I wonder. There's a particular reason. I don't know where this is located, so can be available that's under general rule of practice 42 or 4.02 subdivision 5 at print 5 i need to tell everyone that a violation of that rule would lead uh, could lead to um contempt proceedings um we are on the record in 34 cr 24 for the record i have an email one and madam clerk if you can disable that uh the buzzing or bell noise each time <laughs> they're not going to disable that are they uh, court would appreciate they're going to leave that shit on um this is the state <laughs> of minnesota versus nicholas robert uh Riketa. am i saying that correctly you've told me before yes sir Riketa. i have your date of birth is december 16 1981 yes sir uh currently reside at one two two nine one wow so wait a minute. They said his whole public address? They doxed him? Now I'm assuming he's already been doxed, right? Because that's fucked up to say his address. They said the number and then they blocked it after he already said the number. What is that? Do you see what I'm saying? This is supposed to be a professional proceeding and this is how they operate? Just dox the fucking guy? What the fuck? Okay. 
Your appearance today is based on three counts to a complaint order for detention. Uh, the record should reflect that Alex Kornahachi appears for the state of Minnesota. Uh, Mr. Riqueda, you are self-representing yourself at this point? Yes, sir. Whoa! Okay. He's self-representing? What? He got arrested for a drug and a firearm charge, and he is self-representing himself. Well, all I have to say about that is it's got to be a money issue, right? But he could have got a public defender. Maybe he feels the public defender system sucks. But why in the holy hell? Why would he be defending it? That is an awful idea. Really. That is a terrible, awful idea. Okay. Uh, count one is second degree possession, 25 uh, grams or more of cocaine or methamphetamine. Uh, this is in violation of Minnesota statute 152.022, subdivision 2, print A, print 1. The maximum sentence for that count is 25 years in prison and or a $500,000 fine. So it was what, crystal meth? That's what he said, crystal meth, methamphetamines? Count two is possession of ammunition uh, or any firearm with the user of controlled substances. This is a gross misdemeanor, so the maximum sentence is 364 days in the Kandiwai County Jail and or a three- So he had, he had meth and he had a gun on him when he had the meth. The problem isn't that he had the gun, the problem is he had a firearm when he was in possession of the meth. That's the misdemeanor. Okay. $3,000 fine, count three endangerment of a child uh, when presence uh, with a sale or possession of a controlled substance. Again, a gross misdemeanor. Oh, his kid was in the house too? Oh, man, with the drugs? Oh, man. Maxim Z. You your coke out make and kill yourself, you stupid motherfucker. Um, wow. I'm going to warn everyone again. This is a court proceeding. It wow. Wow. Unbelievable. That's absolutely unbelievable. Why is this allowed in a court proceeding? This is a court proceeding. It should be under control. They should. These people are supposed to be fucking professionals, and this is what they allow to happen in the court proceeding. That's fine, right? He's like, oh, I'm going to warn you. No, don't warn. If you don't have it under control, you stop the court proceeding until you have someone competent who works for you to run it. This is a, a shit show. This is a joke. People can call in and say shit like that in his court proceeding. Right now, I'm not kidding you. These people should all be fired who are involved in this right now. That should be immediately because that happened. Immediately, he, they all should be fired. Everyone involved. That's completely unprofessional. That should not be allowed to happen at all. If you were in a courtroom with me, yeah. it would remove you. So, um... Any violation of that will be removed. Ms. Block? Judge, I just um, disabled people the ability to unmute themselves, so I will work to unmute people as they need to speak to the court this morning. All right, thank you. Uh, aside from Mr. Ikeda and Mr. Kornahachi, no one needs to at this point. Uh, lastly, I think I was saying that the count three uh, gross misdemeanor has a maximum sentence of 364 days and or a $3,000 fine. Um, Mr. Riqueda, you understand what you've been charged with and uh, second question, the maximum sentences associated with each uh, each count? Yes, Your Honor. Um, all right, now I don't mean to insult your intelligence given you are an attorney, but uh, it's important that I know that you understand your rights here. First of all, you are presumed to be not guilty of these charges. Uh, it is the state, not you, that has to prove uh, what has been uh, alleged in the complaint with evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. You have a right to trial, trial by jury. All members of the jury would have to agree that the state had met its burden, a proof beyond a reasonable doubt before you could be convicted. You have a right to counsel. You have a right to represent yourself, of course. What I'm curious, so I don't know anything about what happened. I just know he got arrested. So they f I'm assuming this must have been found in his house. They found him in possession of these drugs. There's no way he's driving around with that many drugs on him, right? So 
that means that there was probable cause to enter his house and search for drugs. So what happened, right? This guy is a professional streamer, right? He just, he streams all the time. So what gave the police the right to go in his house, look for drugs, and they found him and arrested him? I wonder what happened. Hmm. Uh, if there's a trial, you could give your side of the story and testify, but you also have the right to remain silent. Indeed, you don't have to prove anything, so you don't have to say anything. If you remain silent, the judge can't make a comment about that. The prosecutor can't make a comment about that, nor can the jury take that into consideration. You have a right to confront, challenge, or cross-examine anyone who testifies against your interest. Your His pastor told the cops, is this true? His pastor told the cops, allegedly. So, but how did the pastor know what he had in his house? Unless he confessed, maybe he went to confession and he told his priest and his priest then told the cops? Huh. You have a right to call witnesses and the power of subpoena. By the way, this you video right is to... incredibly long. I'm not watching 15 more minutes of it. I'm just trying to figure out like, like what is of interest here exactly? I don't know what happens in this arraignment. So I don't actually, you know, I don't actually know. All of the state's discovery before trial and uh, including exculpatory uh, information and evidence. And at the end of the day, if you think the court made some mistakes or a jury made some mistakes, you have a right to appeal. Any questions about those rights as I've explained them? No, Your Honor. Um, this is a Rule 5 hearing. Sometimes we call it a bail hearing. Uh, we'll set this for a Rule 8 hearing. Uh, under the rules, you have right to have that hearing within 14 days of today's uh, hearing, but you could waive that as well, um, given um, uh, your right to uh, seek counsel if you so choose. Do you want this scheduled within 14 days, a Rule 8? No, Your Honor, I'd like to waive that. We can combine it into a contested omnibus hearing. So that would work All right, so we could, for today's purposes, combine Rule 5, Rule 8? Yes, sir. So apparently there were two hearings, right. but he wants to combine them into one super hearing so he doesn't have to do this again. Which, considering the fact that the guy is insanely trolled on the internet, as you can see, is happening. I guess that kind of makes sense. That he just wants to get this over with now. And before you ask for a speedy, you want to hear what the state is requesting uh, uh, yes, as far as release conditions? Yes, I'd like to hear what the state is requesting. Um, I didn't uh, say it, but uh, you also have the right to have me read the complaint today. No, um, wait, 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 sir. All right, very well. Mr. Kornhachi, what is the state requesting as far as release conditions? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, the state is requesting $50,000 unconditional. In the alternative, we would agree to RPR with standard drug conditions, which would include no use, random testing, no use in possession of firearms, contact probation as directed, don't leave the state without permission from the court. Remain law-abiding. Keep in contact with probation and other standard conditions. So $50,000 bond. Then he has to also stay clean. Random drug testing cannot have a firearm. And that's and that's it? That's all they want? They're not going to give him any jail time? Is that what they're saying? Mr. Rokeda, any objection to those conditions? I object to the $50,000 bail. I think it's unduly burdensome and in violation of the Eighth Amendment. What? All right, what about the conditions? Did he say... What did he say? He's rejecting the bail. It's in violation of his Eighth Amendment. Is that what he said? His microphone is terrible in this room. You can't hear what he's saying. I can't understand what he said. Uh, release conditions sound fine. The release conditions sound fine. Um... All right, the court will set unconditional amount of $50,000 cash or bond. Conditionally, you'll be released on your own personal recognizance. In all instances, you uh, need to be law-abiding and show up for all your court appearances. Uh, conditions are as follows. Okay, there, there is some confusion in the other chat. I read that as he, he this is a personal recognizance bond. In other words, he doesn't need to, to post anything except he has he has to be subject to the conditions. 
and he did because he because he didn't uh, object to the conditions. I think that's what he's doing here. So I, I don't think he has to post anything. That's the way I oh. read it. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. Abstain from the use of alcohol or any mood altering chemicals not prescribed by your physician. That will be subject to random testing. So the court will order. That so no alcohol, no drugs, random testing. Uh, you meet with probation upon your release, sign their agreement, and cooperate fully. You are not to possess uh, any weapons, firearms of any nature, or be in the presence of anyone with a firearm or dangerous weapon. Uh, and do not leave the okay. state of Minnesota without prior approval of the court. Any questions about those release conditions? Mr. Honor, did you say 50 or 15,000? 5000. Five, zero, 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 zero. 50. Thank you, um, okay, let me ask this. Um, do you still want uh, a speedy omnibus or can it be scheduled in normal course? Can be scheduled in normal course, Your Honor. Very well. Uh, Madam Clerk, do we have a date for that? I'm sorry, Judge, I'm just going to interrupt. This is uh, Katie Block, the court administrator. Do you want this next hearing to be in person or a remote? Um, in person. Thank you for the clarification. It, Mr. Uh, Riketa, you said contested, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so yes, in person. All right, I'm, I'm bored. That's it. Like, I've seen enough. There's really nothing that we're seeing here. It, it doesn't, this, do, I, yeah, this didn't really add anything, right? It's kind of like, okay. So basically, he got arrested. We don't know the truth because it's not said in this court hearing, right? Or at least what we're watching. We don't know how it led to him being caught with all of this methamphetamine, but he had meth, a firearm, and a kid all in the house at the same time, which is a big no no. And because of that, he's in big trouble. And it sounds like he's probably going to have to pay a lot of money, and he's going to have his random testing going on for liquor and drugs moving forward. It, they're going to have a hearing. Like, this isn't even close to being done, correct? Like, there's going to be follow-up hearings and things. Because I wonder if he's going to be, like, if there's going to be a trial or if he's going to be sentenced to any jail time. It doesn't sound like it, though, right? It sounds like those conditions are that he just has to stay clean. And as long as he stays clean and doesn't have a firearm, he's good. Right? From what I can understand, maybe. But again, I don't know anything about this, you know? I don't even know. Honestly, I don't know why this was submitted because it's not like I can really add anything to it. I don't, I'm not a legal expert or anything like that. If anything, the one thing I got out of it is that <clears throat> literally none of these courts are ready for anything on the internet. None of them should have it because they all just act like it's just going to be fine and then trolls start going in and mess it all up. Like, this is a crappy shit show. The fucking noise keeps going off. People are fucking, uh, you know, insulting the guy. Nick, it's like, geez. I thought this was a professional court hearing, right? And I've had some experience with this four years ago myself, right? It's ridiculous. Um, okay, so I'm being told those are his bail conditions. The court case is ongoing. The maximum sentence he can be sentenced to is 25 years for the drug charges. But basically... The way for him to stay out of jail is for him to give those conditions, and then he can basically, he's out on bail until his court proceedings. Okay, fair enough. That makes sense. All right. I, again, I don't know why that was really submitted. I Sadly, there's not much I can really add to it. I have nothing to say. I don't know anything about it. I wish him I wish him the best and his family. It's awful that this has happened, Um, obviously. And, every you know, a lot of people love it when people get into awful places, right? They want to dance on the grave. They want to revel in the downfall of others. And a lot of people have said to me, Phil, aren't you happy that this has happened to him because he covered your bankruptcy and said awful things about you during your bankruptcy? No. Absolutely not. I wish him the best. I hope that he recovers. I hope that he comes back clean, sober, and that him and his family have a great life. That's what I wish for them. I don't want anything bad to, to happen to people. It's ridiculous, right? People just want to see other people have downfalls on the internet. It's messed up. I don't support that whatsoever. But I don't cover shit like this. The only reason I'm watching this is because it was submitted. And again, I don't really know what you expected to hear from me or get out of this because I don't want people to be hurt. I want people to have good, happy lives, you know? I, w I, I really hope that he turns things around and that I wish him the best. All right? There you go. All right.
that's this part of DSP versus the internet. Let's uh, split it, and we'll come back with more Ultra Member submissions. I do believe that the clips coming up are much shorter. So, all right. See you in the next part. Okay. Um. All right, guys. So we have one shout out. Thank you to Casanova for being a submissions tier member for 15 months. The pop up did work this time, correct? It did show up on the screen. So I guess I got that sorted. Um. Okay. And uh. Yeah, see, here's the thing. People are like, oh, but he mocked you and he made fun of you. I, I don't care. I legit don't care. People fucking mock me and make fun of me all the time. That says more about them than it does about me, doesn't it? I don't care what they said. I want. I, I actually wish the best for this man, and I hope that him and his family are all right. All right? And the same goes for Review Tech USA, and the same goes for Boogie, and the same goes for everybody. I, I want everyone to just be having a good life because the, the, the truth is, if they do have a good life, then they don't need to make fun of others. They don't need to do, deride them and do awful things to others, right? People don't aren't nasty to others if they're in the middle of an awesome existence, right? Why would they why would they need to do that? So I you know, I just want everyone to be to be better. You know, I want everyone to have happiness in their own way. You know, I, I wish the best for these people. I don't want them to fall. I don't find this entertaining. In not for one moment that I just watch this, I'm like, ooh, this is great. No. This is terrible. This is awful. Again, I'm only watching it because it was submitted. I don't see any value in watching it any further. I don't think I'm going to get anything out of it, right? <clears throat> you know? Okay. Um. All right, we're going to continue. Guys, once again, we're over an hour into the show. We have no contributions, no tips, no super chats. Casanova, thank you for the membership. So, or was it Gatsu? I actually don't know if it was Casanova or Gatsu who became a member today. One of them was Aria. Uh, guys, please support this show. All right? This is, you know, again, this stream is important to this channel because this is, it's this and memberships that keep this channel running. So please, if you like this React stuff, please keep it going and support it in some way if you can. All right? All right. Let's continue. <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to DSP versus the Internet, episode 66. We're still in Ultra Member Submissions for now. I got the drip going. 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 It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I'm gonna have to clear. Like this is what I mean. These, these dumb kids. This is what it is. It's dumb kids. 